Hey everyone, this is Grant, developer and cloud evangelist on the OpenShift team at Red Hat. In this video, I'm going to show you how to interact with the OpenShift platform as a service using the Cloud9 IDE as hosted by C9.io. One of the great things about a cloud-based integrated development environment is that your code is with you no matter where you're at. Not only that, you can interact with OpenShift from inside of Cloud9 without having to install any client tools whatsoever. So you're developing in the cloud for deployment on the cloud. The first thing we'll need to do is sign up for Cloud9. It is free. Also, Cloud9 is open source and is available on GitHub and it's under the GPL version 3 license. Let's go ahead and sign up for an account. I'll choose the free tier, which means that all of my projects will be public. If you want private projects, you will need to subscribe to their service or use the GPL version um, and deploy it yourself. So let's go ahead and create a uh, username and password here. I'll use cloud dev test and my email is cloud dev demo at gmail.com. Now that I've been registered, an activation email will be sent to the email address that you enter in. Let me go over to my email account and we can see that I sure enough do have an email from Cloud9. Let me go ahead and activate my account and I will set my Cloud9 password. And now I'm all set to get started. So let's go ahead and create a new project. Make sure that you specify it as a Git project and put in your project name, my project, and we'll go ahead and create that. Another thing to note is that if you click on your account and show your SSH key, this is your public SSH key. This is what you'll need to use to interact with OpenShift. So let's go ahead and copy that and then head over to www.openshift.com authenticate to manage your apps and then once I'm signed in I'll want to manage my account and add the SSH key from Cloud9 so let me go and click on my account in the top right hand corner I'll then add a new key We'll call this C9IO, paste the contents of my uh, public key. Let me go back over here and copy it again. It didn't seem to copy correctly. Paste that in. That looks a lot better. I'll create that key pair. Now that I have my new C9IO key, next thing we can do is create a new application inside of OpenShift. When you click on create and the new application, you're presented with all the different languages that you're able to utilize. Let's go ahead and use a Node.js application type, a new type that we just added. So I'll select that. I'll give my application a name. We'll call it Cloud Demo. And I'll create that application. What it's doing at this point is setting up all of the required infrastructure to create your node and laying down any dependencies that you need in order to run Node.js. One important thing to note here is that it's also creating a private Git repository for you on the OpenShift server. Now that my application has been created, we can see that I have a Git URL and account right here. So let's go ahead and copy this. And then head back over to Cloud9 go to our project and start editing it. At the bottom of the Cloud IDE we have a text field that we can interact with the application to also start the console. So let's go ahead and add our remote OpenShift repository. So I can do git remote add OpenShift dash m from master branch and then paste in the OpenShift URL. Now that that has been added, let's pull down the new source code for our application that we created on OpenShift. 
In order to pull down the code, we just do a git pull recursives and pull down from the OpenShift repo, the master branch. Basically, all this does is pulls down any code from that repository and overwrites anything that I have locally. Let's go ahead and run that. And we can see in the console output here that it pulled down all of the files on my OpenShift Git repository. Let's go ahead and refresh our project window. And now we can see that all of the files are there. So let's go ahead and edit the server.js, which uses the Express framework. Let's make a quick change. The index.html file is what's going to be served when we hit that URL in the web browser. So let's say welcome to OpenShift and change this from c9.io. Let's save our change and then go down to the console and commit our change just like you would with a normal git operation. And then let's push our change up to OpenShift. As you can see in the console output, it ran any pre and post action hooks as well as deployed our code. And now we can look at our code if we open up a, another terminal window and go to clouddemo-onpaths.rhcloud.com. We can see welcome to OpenShift from c9.io. Let's make one more change just to illustrate how quick this is. Let's add some exclamation points here, save our change, commit and push them again. All right, our application should be ready now. So let's refresh this page, and we can see that the changes happened immediately after the deployment. This is how you can code in the cloud for deployment on the cloud and be able to access your development environment from any device that's internet connected. Thanks everyone for watching this video. If you have any more questions about OpenShift, send us an email at openshift@redhat.com or log into our forums.